so Josh McIntosh, I don't know if you know who he is. Um, he's basically like King Turd. All right, this guy is uh, he's basically like a he calls. So what he calls himself is a pop critic. Uh, the only thing he ever critiques on is video games and how they're so violent and misogynistic and sexist and blah, 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 blah. This guy's the giant biggest fucking pussy I've seen in a long time. All right. And he's in cahoots with Anita Sarkeesian, who's just basically uh, an enemy of basically any gamer. I mean, really, when you get down to it, she's she's not on the gamer side at all. As far as she's concerned, every gamer out there, if you're not a female, is a sexist, misogynistic, racist uh, rapist. I mean, that's really how she looks at basically 99% of the gamers. That's a scary world. I know. It is a scary world because I don't want to be raped. Lee, are you a rapist? No. You're totally a raper, no. aren't you? No. Don't rape me. Not even Please don't bit. rape me. All right. So anyways, he's in cahoots with her, and so he's decided to get a Patreon uh, fund going on, which, by the way, is last time I checked, it's doing terrible. Uh, and he has this thing called uh, Pop Culture Detective Agency, <laughs> where he uh, – he critiques all – he has all these videos coming out, basically like Anita Sarkeesian's uh, feminist frequency. It's a bunch of bullshit. But that's not what we're really here to talk about. Uh, what is important, and I saw this on Twitter, is uh, he was talking about Pokemon Go. And, you know, Pokemon Go, there's a ton of people into it from all walks of life, which is which is actually kind of cool. Um, but it's kind of like the, the Wii when the Wii came out and they ha they were killing it in the console market because they had a bunch of people who weren't gamers, yeah. but they were buying the Wii for like Wii Fit and shit, and then they never right. buy another game. And everybody ever enjoys the profit spike for a right. short amount of time, and all of a sudden exactly. their profits dip, and they're like, oh, exactly. I don't understand why. It, like, it, was, it was a toothless beast is yeah. what it really was because it was these people buying a Wii for Wii Fit, and then they never buy another Wii game or – they never touch the thing for years. You know, they just won't touch it. That's what happens when you market to casual gamers. Exactly. Because they're going to abandon yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it, Exactly. It's a, it's a short-term goal is what it really is. The hardcore gamers are the ones that are going to spend a ton of money regularly. The the casual, are gonna you're going to get them once. Yeah. Anyways, so he was putting up these tweets, and he was basically comparing Pokemon Go to dogfighting. And how it's despicable and disgusting that people haven't critiqued this or nobody's brought this up and how it's disturbing and this and that. And, I mean, for lack of better etiquette, for lack of a more creative way of saying this, the only, way, the only thing I thought of when I saw this is, dude, you're a fucking pussy, dude. What is wrong with you? Yeah, he's trying to scare up skeletons with our Right, he's trying to make – and he's doing it like any social justice warrior does, any feminist does. He's trying to – his life is so comfortable – that he's trying to make problems where problems don't exist. All I see with Pokemon Go, and I'm not on this bandwagon. I think Pokemon Go is stupid. But what I see with Pokemon Go is a bunch of people getting out and connecting in a way that they never would off a, off a very simple game. That, and it doesn't cost anything. It, everybody's allowed entry. All I, all I see is a bunch of people meeting new people and getting together catching Pokemon. I mean, there, there, there's people getting hit by cars and finding dead bodies and hanging out and, and going into police stations and stuff to yeah. catch Pokemon. But, you know, for the most part, all I see is a bunch of people getting together enjoying something. Yeah. And here this guy is trying to compare it to dogfighting. You fucking idiot. <laughs> it's a video game, yeah. you piece of shit. Are you kidding trying me right now? Trying to find the worst element, whatever, however small it is, he's trying to find the worst element that's in that game just because he's that type of person that wants to right. just like... It's the, only, it's the only way he can get attention is by a... Uh, Lighting fires and then saying, you know, hey, guys, we have a fire problem because of this. No, you fucking turd. What it is is you don't know how to enjoy life and you're so insecure within your own skin that you need to cause problems to have people, you know, question things that you find undesirable. You are you are have such a problem being a man and you're such a fucking mangina that you got to you got to try and bring other men down. You got to make other men feel like they should feel like you. And the thing is, you see this kind of mentality across the board when it comes to even just like the 
feminist movement that's attacking games and stuff like that. It's just everybody wants us to feel bad about enjoying a game. No, it would, and it's no, like where does that where is that line drawn? Is every game that I play going to equate to that? I think no. What it what it really boils down to is these people want you to feel bad about being a man. Like there's something wrong with feeling masculine and something wrong with masculinity there's 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 i mean there's problems in the world no matter what time period you go into but there's nothing inherently wrong with masculinity it's in our biology to be men we didn't make that decision nature made that decision you know what i mean i can't help it when i look at an attractive female and you know i i want to get down and dirty with her that that is not something i've made a conscious decision of that is something that turns on in my brain inherently yeah and there's that, nothing that does, ro- not, that does not make you a future sexual person. right that doesn't make me a bad person it just makes me a man there's nothing wrong with being a man there's nothing wrong with finding man finding manly things cool i think guns are cool i think uh people fighting each other is cool i think the movie the gladiator is fucking cool I think games where I get to go around and shoot people and throw them around with telekinetic powers is fucking cool. I think flying around in space and blowing shit up is cool. There's nothing wrong with that. And because this fucking guy is such a fucking pansy, he tries to make it seem like there's a problem with finding that stuff cool. It's bullshit. This is the same guy who was sitting there bashing Fallout 4 when it first came out because it was too violent and had too much gore. (laughs) the fuck is wrong with you dude get out of my fucking house for real the if, you, is, if you if you if you don't like gaming so much and it's so disturbing to you stop playing video games you fucking idiot yeah whatever innate qualities that draw like drew people to him that made them question what they were doing it probably loses its luster with time i hope so it's like a boy who cried wolf he keeps uh, doing it and this pokemon go sensation is the perfect example it's i hope like so. you're just getting so ridiculous that we now realize that everything and and, and, and you know what and what it, and, and what i want to say is if you're somebody who wandered on our very modest and humble channel and you're here listening to this video and you're a gamer and you're tired of hearing about this shit, we are too. And I want to say there's nothing wrong with being a man. There's nothing wrong with being a gamer. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And these guys that are trying to tell you, these people who are trying to tell you there's something wrong with you, they can go fuck themselves, dude. You know what? Because we found something we enjoy that doesn't – we're not we're not out to try and tell other people there's something wrong with them. We found something we enjoy, and we want to focus on what we enjoy. And these people want to focus on kill, you know, destroying what you enjoy. They've, they've focused on destroying you as a person. They want you to feel bad about you as a person because of the things you enjoy because they can't find any enjoyment – for themselves in life. There's nothing in life they enjoy. So the only thing they can find is trying to destroy other people's enjoyment. And these people can go fuck themselves. And so you'll hear it on this channel many times when we see somebody who's trying to destroy a gaming culture or they're trying to tell people that are part of the gaming culture that they're bad people. We're going to sit on this channel and we're going to shit on them. And it will happen multiple times. It'll happen with websites. It'll happen with people. It'll happen with all kinds of shit. We can agree on that, right? Yeah. Fuck these guys. Yeah, and it's happened multiple times with people who at first didn't start out that way, and then it just grows to be right. Them. Yeah, there's people who you as thought you thought get, were are real champions of the gamer culture, and yeah. you watch them turn their backs on you exactly. because they get popular or they start making money or what have you, and it's you know what? Fuck those guys too. Yeah. Because fuck that. I'm a gamer for life, son. I'm a gamer for life. And it's embarrassing too. It's embarrassing, it embarrassing that you wanted to represent, like you wanted that person to represent you, and now you don't. Right? You you know you want you every 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 subculture needs their champions, and when you see those champions, when you see those idealists, fucking give in to the to the masses, give in to the enemy. What what do you trust in then? Who who do you trust in then? Fuck them, dude. Fuck all of them. If you turn your back on gamers, you can go fuck yourself. Fuck you. Fuck Josh McIntosh. Fucking Nita Sarkeesian. Fuck all of you guys that are fucking like that. Pixel Monks. We're out. <laughs>